Hi everybody, this is Thierry from Headway Rocket and today I'm going to show you some of the new stuff in our features block version 2. For this demo I previously had version 1.1.3 installed and what I've done is upgraded to 2.0. The main new feature in 2.0 is a custom post type which is called features and it allows you to enter your content specifically for your features. So I had a block instance in Headway uh, with four features and this is what it looks like. In the visual editor I have my features block instance with uh, four features and if I click on the setting icon there is an option content source and at the moment it's showing headway. If I look at the features content there is the features title, description and image for the four features. What I'm going to do is to change the content source to WordPress and when I change to WordPress there is a notice telling me that I don't have any features set at the moment and I can click on the link to add a feature which I'm going to do. It takes me to the feature custom post type and I'm going to show you how to add a feature and then I'll add three on my own. The title is going to be used for the feature title. The WYSIWYG area for the description and for this example I'm also going to set a feature category to show you how the filter works. So the category is going to be testimonials features and I'm going to add a featured image which I've already uploaded use as featured image. That's it. I'm going to add another three and then I'll get back to you. Here we go. I set all the features to be a testimonial features category. So if I head back to the visual editor and I save because I've changed the content source to WordPress and I reload, it's now showing the four features I've added in WordPress. If I click on the setting icon, features content tab, the title description options that was showing before have been replaced by a summary table showing all your features custom post type items and it also shows the category, the tag, status and a quick edit link. This is one way of using the features block but since you can add your content in WordPress we can also make use of the read more link and we can actually show our products using the features block. I'm going to demonstrate that. Features content, add feature. So for this example I'm going to take four of our products and show you how to have an index view of it linking to the single page. The first one is going to be our testimonial. So I'm going to have about 60 words, add a break and then add a 200 words description. I'm going to assign this one to a new category which I'm going to call products. No tags for this example and the featured image is quite a big image. It's about 960 width. The testimonial header. Use it as featured image. That's it. I'm going to add another three and get back to you. I've added the other three product items, contact features and MailChimp, and I've assigned it to the products category. All my features entered in WordPress are being displayed with the read more like I set it. However, on this page I only want to see my products features, setting icon, and in the filters I'm only going to se select my products and as you can see it shows my four products. I also want to change my image size because they're a bit small at the moment so I'm going to crop it to a fixed width and height. Down the option is a feature, image handling, I'm going to change it to crop and I'm going to say 90 by 90.
I'm gonna save that refresh and here I see my full products features if I click on read more it's going to take me to the single page but because I have nothing assigned to the single page there is no content display so we're gonna assign a features block to the single page back to the visual editor I'm going to read mode this time what I want to do here is to set one features block instance on the parent of all my features item so that every time I add a new item I don't have to go and redraw a block it will be applied automatically so I'm going to the feature parent here okay edit and I draw a block and choose feature I save and view it in manage mode. The block has picked up that you are on the features post type and it tells you that what you're defining here will be applied to all the single page which doesn't have a layout assigned and it shows you one as an example, the first one as an example. So I'm going to start styling the first one and then I'll show you that it will be applied to all the others. So here there's a new option which is single view and you can still change it to index and we'll see that a bit later on. And I'm going to change the image resize and I'm going to send it to none. And I see that the full size of the image is now being applied and I still have my title and my full description. So back on my index view with all my products if I click on the read more link this time it's going to take me to the same page as before but because we have assigned content it's going to show me the content read more and there we go we have my single item because I have applied it to the post type this style will be applied for all my products so same for the contact block and for the feature block and on and on so every feature I'm going to add this styling is going to be applied. But let's say for example for the testimonial block I wanted to have the parent styling applied but also something else below. For that I'm going to the visual editor grid mode and this time instead of editing the post type I'm going to edit the specific item. So first of all mirror the style of the parent. So I choose the features block and in the config I mirror the first features block instance and below that I'm going to draw the new features block I want save manage mode to show you what it looks like so because I'm aware the first block I still see the same styling and below I see my second block instance and I'm gonna start editing the second instance by default is single view because I'm a single page but I can still change it to index and then it's showing me all my features like previously I'm going to set a two column layout and what I want to show is not all my products because I'm on the product page but rather the specific testimonial features category I set earlier on and I'm also going to remove the title and the description good stuff I'm saving and refresh the page and this time I see like before my first instance and below the second block instance with the four other features. The other thing I want to show you is we have set the read more link in WordPress but we also have an option in the block when you're on the index view to set the link and also link the title and the image. So when I look at the page after reloading it this time the image and the title are also going to link to the product page. That's it for today. We hope you see the power of the features block version 2 
please give us your feedback and enjoy the blog. See you next time.